hello and welcome and um yeah surprise surprise i'm here again with a root master um yeah um never say never that's what all i say um as you all know or some of you know uh, we and me and my wife have actually built three root masters in the past and um we've built uh, one standard one and two of them uh, we actually painted uh, into different liveries and we modded them with certain modifications so this is going to be a long long journey and um i hope you'll stay with me throughout this journey um and the lovely lovely people at agora models and you'll see the the logo up there i'm not good at that sort of thing the logo is up there agora models are supporting me to do this build and um what we'll do is we'll obviously go through the build uh step by step and stage by stage and we're going to try and do it we think uh live and um and not live as well so um there'll be lots of photographs to be taken and there'll be lots of uh, live building going on and um, hopefully i'll be joined with a few friends a bit later on down the line with the build so please stick with me there's lots and lots of things going on uh, with this build and um, we've had a lot of um questions and quizzes about um the modifications that can be done to this lovely bus so um and uh, well i'm going to show you how on a lot of them and um, we're going to get guests involved that will show you uh, other uh, modifications that they've done and um and uh, and obviously there'll be companies along the way as well that's uh, supporting us and um, they'll be uh, plying you with products that are necessary to come along with this build and uh, make your root master ever so special so uh, without further ado i've actually got my wife sitting just the other side of the table and um, she's actually going to be reading out the magazine instructions for me, uh, which is uh, very he helpful and useful for me. And uh, not that I need them, of course, but of course you guys do if you're new to the build. So, and I'm going to be building this as in real time as well. So uh, there'll be none of this, um, you know, putting some screws in and then putting some music on and fast forwarding etc we'll be doing it in real time so um and that's and that's simply because you guys need to know how long it's going to take really and um you know a bit of time management and what have you so hopefully you'll get gain an awful lot out of this and um, there may there may be one or two competitions along the way where we might give one or two giveaways uh, i'm not telling them everything yet but behold there might be so um and we've got a long long way to go we've got a whole year in actual fact a whole year of building and um yeah i'm very looking forward to it very very much indeed and i have noticed that you have been commenting also in the comments and um what i would say is thank you very much for the comments for now but we're going to bring the comments up when we finish building um tonight if that's all, all all very well and good with you if if that's okay and that's because um the lovely people at agora models are obviously supporting me to do this and they want me to get on with the build so uh without further ado what do you get with this build well uh, there's a couple of packs um there's a couple of um things that you can actually do you can actually get it with a 12 month subscription so you'll get one pack a month for 12 months or you can get a 24 month uh, subscription where you can get uh, one pack every other month so and um so obviously for two years so um what i would suggest to you at this moment in time is if you uh, have any quiz questions quizzes uh, anything that you need to know at all about prices uh, how much it's going to cost when and where delivery please uh, contact and you've got the tick tape running here with all the relevant information on for agoramodels.com and uh, please please visit their site and uh, get all the information that you need um, i'm purely here to just to build and um, show you what's what and then we're going to show you some modifications along the way and um there might be some surprises along the way as well so without further ado let's let's get on shall we any more fares please 
<laughs> Let's change camera, shall we? So, webcam, here we go. So, uh, with the lovely people at Agora Models, uh, you will receive uh, this pack. And this pack is like a, a welcome pack. And it has a lovely picture of the uh, Root Master that you will be building on it. And, uh, and then when you open it up, it's actually a, a lovely poster. So when you open it up, you've got all the dimensions of the model. You've got what the model actually does. And, um, and quite surprisingly, you've got, you know, fully operating headlights and uh, interior lights. You've got pull-down lever to open the upper deck emergency exit window. You've got opening bonnet. Uh, that shows you the faithfully reproduced 9.6 litre six cylinder diesel engine, the AEC engine, the lovely, lovely engine. Then you've got uh, inside details as well. You've got uh, the lovely uh, poster in there, just inside the entrance door. And then you've got um, model specifications. So the model specifications, and this is in 112 scale. So this is one inch to the foot. Uh, in old money so in old money then in length this bus is going to be 27.5 inches long it's going to be 14.6 inches high and it's going to be eight inches wide and at this point i've got to tell you that because we've already built one of these superb models um i can tell you that they will weigh around about 14 kilograms in weight Yes, I did say 14 kilograms in weight. Yeah, so a very, very heavy model because obviously it's built from uh, die cast metal and uh, ABS plastic and such like. So, and uh, another distinguishing thing about this model is that no glue is necessary on this model at all. All you will need is some screwdrivers, some very tiny screwdrivers. And the lovely people at Agora, they've supplied them too. So you don't have to do much in the way of buying extras in to get to actually get building. This um, leaflet come, opens up into a ginormous, beautiful poster. And I can't get it all into the camera, uh, but it has the official font on and everything. And uh, the Agora model stamp, of course, and the root master itself. It is wonderful. Yeah. What a wonderful, wonderful poster that is. And um, yeah. I might persuade Mrs. Um, Mrs. Uh, DS Models and Vintage if she can um, put find a place for me to put this as well. It might be in my garage, but still, never mind. We'll, we'll ask her a bit later on, shall we? So um, you guys are going to want to know then uh, how to contact Agora. And as I said, we've got a ticker tape running down, down the bottom here. And um, through the ticker tape, you'll find all the necessary um, customer service um, via their email address and, and what have you. And as I say, if you go onto the internet and you type in agoramodels.com, you will find them. And this um, this product, this uh, model of a Rootmaster is uh, officially made under license from the Transport for London and Harchette because uh, it originally came out with Harshet and Transport for London, and it's now made officially uh, under their license, uh, Harshet and Transport for London. So um, that's all the ins and outs of the paperwork so far. So right then, people, what do we get in issue one, stage one? Well, I can tell you that we do get these super duper looking parts here. We've got a bonnet. We've got um, the front iconic AC grill of a Rootmaster, the grill that goes behind it. And, uh, and as I said, look, there's a screwdriver to help you along the way with your bills. So uh, with the help of Miss, Mrs. Uh, well, DS Models here, we'll, we'll try and um, have a go at building. What I would suggest, uh, everybody, is that you get something nice and soft and you put that down onto your work surface. Uh, because the last thing you want to do is actually scratch your parts. And believe you me, um, that lovely, lovely red paint does not want to get scratched. So we've got a nice soft surface here. 
And uh, I think it cost a couple of pounds from Boise's or somewhere sim similar to that. Okay, so let's go. Let's have a patch check, shall we? Yeah, you've got A1, which is the grill frame. A1, which is the grill frame. Okay, just pop her out the packet. So there's the grill frame. You've got B, the grill. And B, the grill. Okay, and um, please be very gentle with this, guys, because this is metal and um, it's um, it's made lovely. C is the license plate. C is the license plate or the registration plate, as we uh, normally call it. And this, and in this instance, it's WLT eight five seven, and it actually replicates the real bus RM eight five seven, which is in preservation. And I actually personally do know the owner of this bus. And um, I've been talking to him on a regular basis uh, because I've obviously wanted to know extra details about the bus. And so if anybody needs to know anything extra about the bus, they can quite happily contact me and I'll quite happily contact the owner and we'll go from there. Part D is the bonnet. Part D is the bonnet. Okay, this is a beautiful uh, shiny red metal bonnet and uh, the paintwork is absolutely wonderful uh, the lovely people at agora models there have produced it absolutely wonderfully painted inside and out and um, and of course this is one of the reasons why you have something nice and soft to build on um, so you don't scratch this lovely paintwork there we go F is the access panel f is the access panel okay so we've got the access panel here and that fits on the side of the bonnet and uh, the access bonnet has got the uh, transfers on rm857 which is the um the n the number of this bus because uh, it was rm857 and um yeah that goes on the side of the bonnet the bonnet brace is the next one. Bonnet brace is goes underneath the bonnet. That's uh, this is the first part that's made out of ABS plastic. Uh, so yeah, be careful with this, guys, because it's uh, it's only ABS plastic. But it, having said that, it's quite strong. And um, just a little uh, information for you that you might not know: the Rootmaster bonnet in real life is actually made from fiberglass, so it's very light and um and that's a true fact so and it does have something similar to this under underneath it in real life too g you've got a hinge well it's times two g a hinge times two and would that be uh the small part or the the curly part it's the curly part the, so that part would it be yeah okay so that's uh one of the hinges then and then you've got the hinge seat times two and then the hinge seat times two which is then parts there so you can tell now we're getting onto very tiny looking parts these are still um die cast metal by the way and then they're times two are they yeah okay so i'm just gently getting them out the are they left and right handed or does it matter I don't actually I think it. Uh, no, I don't actually think it uh, matters on this stage. But I have noticed that there is a little divot on one of them as well. Okay. And then you've got a bush times six includes a spare. Okay, so I'll bring the uh, plastic over here to show you the bushes. The bushes are in here, and these are plastic, aren't they? So I'm, I'm just gently teasing them out with the Rootmaster screwdriver and um you'll notice that on these bushes um there is um a flat side to them and there is a divot side to them and so they will only go on the build one way um so obviously you'll have to think about that <clears throat> when you come to the uh, fixing them on and reading in the instructions all the instructions, by the way, for this can be uh, downloaded on the internet <clears throat> for all these stages that I'm mentioning now. Okay. Right, uh, you've got AM screws. 
times 20, including four spare. Okay, right. So this is where we go with our screws. So I've actually got a screw pot here. And um, it's just a cheap thing I bought from a pound shop. It has six holes in it. And um, so, uh, yeah, there's the AM screws. Uh, difficult to see. They're very, very tiny screws. But we do get smaller screws in this build, uh, believe you me. So what we'll do is we'll put the AM screws in a in a screw holder, and I can get them out the bag, and they just start sticking to the label. So there we are, and I'll put the AM at the side there, so I know which is the AM screws. Okay. And then you've got BM screws times three. BM screws times three. And again, uh, you can tell that they, they are very different of these screws. They are much bigger. And uh, they are labelled nicely BM as well. So we'll put these BM ones in the next screw pot along. So, and in this, this particular build, uh, the step one, the stage one, this is the only screws that we're going to use, isn't it? AM and BM. Yeah. Okay. Well, another fan tip I want to give you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that the M screws uh, go into metal. Uh, that's what the M stands for. Uh, the P screws go into plastic. And on all metal screws, I use uh, some three-in-one oil or anything similar and just put a bit in one of your screw trays and uh, i don't know what you saw there but i'll put about four or five drops in there and the idea is is that you would pick up a screw on the end of your screwdriver and then you would dip it in dip, dip it into the into the oil and then um, onto your work it would make it go into the metal a little bit better but also another top tip is um, always have handy one of these very fine pointed files uh, because it's quite possible that on one or two of the issues you may need to just simply pop that in and twizzle it slightly just to get out any uh, paint bears or metal bears that might be in in any of the holes okay that you'll be screwing into so that's another top tip okay Next, okay. they supplied you with a screwdriver suitable for the use with the screw supplied in this issue. Okay, so this is the screwdriver that supplied, and um, because we're uh, above average than normal uh, builders, and we have our own screwdrivers, and which we bought from the Wearer Company, W E R A Wearer Company, and uh, there is others available on the market, of course, but um, they are. Uh, excellent screwdrivers and of course they have a very small one as well so yeah they're superb and all these screwdrivers will come into play so right uh, what's the first thing we have to do right step one take the front registration plate 1c and locate the pegs at the back back of it into the holes at the bottom of the front of the radiator grill frame 1a screw in place from the inside of the frame using m screws okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to pop the registration plate into the grill and um it can only go really go one way because it's quite obvious which is the back of the grill and which is the front the front has this nice chrome surround on and um can you just uh, tell me again which screws it was am am screws so that's the very tiny screw so i'm going to lay that down a second and then i'm going to get one of these screws onto my screwdriver the tiny am screws and i'm going to dip it into the oil and then uh, simply put it in the back there and try and screw down and it's going in lovely okay so What's my computer doing? I don't know. Let's hope it carries on. Um, yeah, we've had a few internet problems. Um, so hopefully it carries on does this stream tonight without any problems. But um, I didn't want to mention problems. But because no doubt some, sometimes when you mention problems, they 
problems arise, don't they? <laughs> so uh, we've got them two screws in nicely. Uh, there's the registration number. And I'll just quickly just tighten them up just to make sure that they are in superbly. Yes, that's in superbly. Okay. Yeah, part two. Position the radiator grill, 1B, and the back of the frame, 1A, ensuring that the holes in the recesses in and in the edge of the grill fit over the raised screw sockets. Okay, so on the back of the frame, take care the grill is not reversible. Position and indicate in the upper edge, right? Okay, well, I've noticed on this grill already, and that is um, you've got a little hole down there, you've got um, one, two, three, four outside holes, and then you've got a hole in the center. And then you've got a cutout on that right hand top corner. So looking at this grill here, um, I do believe that the goes over and under them to there and over the little divot in the middle and over that one. OK, sits nicely. And you can see why you can't reverse it, because um, that little cutout at this top end won't fit this end. OK. Right, and they're saying that if there's any any of the screw holes become clogged with paint, clear on. Yeah, okay. With the grill in position at the end fixing point, take a bush and pass an AM screw through it from the flat side before securing the screw in the socket. Okay, so um, you've got your little bush here, and you can see I've got the flat side, and then if I turn it round, you've got the divot side underneath, and the divot side underneath goes over the protruding part on the grill. So, and I've got my screw lined up on my screwdriver. I've got a little bit of oil, so I'm going to put it over that far corner first, I think. Yeah, so the, bu the bushes act as washers to hold the grill in place, forming caps over the raised sockets. Ah. Note that there are five fixing points all together. Yeah. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Yes, so they're more or less in the corners. So, and you take that to do what, what, them all then, do you? Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, as I say, we'll get round to the chat a bit later on, uh, guys, if that's all right. Uh, because, uh, and, and if you could keep your chat to the minimum so we're not here all night, that would be uh, fine and dandy. Thank you. Um, we're ever so grateful for you. Uh, putting some chat in and uh, contributing uh, because that's uh, very important to us. And as I said before, if you are interested in this fabulous build, please, please get in touch with agoramodels.com uh, uh, through the internet and um, you can build your very own Root Master. And um, I'll tell you what, what a superb model this really is. So I know I'm blowing my own trumpet a bit there, but um, I am actually a bus enthusiast and I've been a bus enthusiast for many, many years. And um, I think my mum's somewhere in the chat and she'll bear fruit to that. She, she'll uh, tell you that, I, yes, I've been uh, involved in buses for, uh, well, let's say more than 50 years, more than 55 years. And I'm now telling you my age. <laughs> so um yeah uh and i can tell you that there has been nothing as exciting as this model on the market uh, for a long 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 time in fact ever um it's always been uh, much much smaller models than this one okay so we're coming now to the last one i do believe uh so we've got them five all screwed down one two one two let's see, give that a bit more tightening uh three and four and five so that's the five there and that is looking superb yeah that's the grill and you can see that it has the mesh on there and of course this is all nice nicely um painted uh, metal uh, probably apart from the plastic around there because it's actually the the trim around there is actually plastic 
But yeah, beautiful. Okay, next. Assemble the hinge mechanism that allows the access panel 1F to be opened and closed. Align the socket in one inch between the socket in the hinge seat as shown. Okay, so I'll just have to refer to my my manual here, which I've got, and then um, so I'll put that like that, and that one goes like that, does it not? Okay, let's let's put them the right way around. So we've got one going that way, and one going that way. By the looks of it, yeah. Okay, so these little hinges um you've got like the the uh, bigger part of the bracket towards the right which i do believe is right in the manual yes it is yep okay so we need to put this bit in between there and then pop a screw in between them don't we to yeah. to hold them in insert one long screw through the screw hole in the bottom Bottom. In both items, sorry. Take it back. No socket on the hinge is narrower than the other. Insert the screw through the thin, thinner side first. Do not over tighten the hinge. It needs to be able to move freely. Repeat for the second hinge. So it's a BM screw. Okay, so that's the second sec, second lot of screws that we got. So I've got a problem with this one, and I think it's going to be ever so tight, but let's see if we can manipulate it into position so the holes don't line up on this one at all so what i may have to do is i may have to use use my file a little bit and just see if i can knock the bears off it to see if i can get it in so let's have a look yeah i think that might have done it i don't know we'll try the other one shall we yeah that's very very tight is that one yeah we should be able to get a screw in there now though so right so the screw BM. is the bm one isn't it the longer ones so these are the longer screws okay and i'm gonna to have to try the other screwdriver i think because my hands are started shaking now come on there we are and a little bit of oil and we've got to try and get that through there so sometimes it pays to actually screw the screw in these firstly uh, so that you don't um, destroy anything and uh, nice and steady saves the day as they say and uh, hopefully this is going in in the right direction and i do believe it is but it's very slow. Oh, it's going in. It's going in. Yeah, we're going. And uh so over tighten it. No, I'll over tighten it. No, I can we can move that. No problem. Okay. Might just slack it off just a little bit more. Just about a quarter of a turn. Yeah, I think that'll do with that one. Now then we've got to get this awkward one in. So I may have to file it. Let's have a look. See if we can get it in. Oh, it's okay. It popped in there nicely, did that. So I just need the screw. Excellent. So another BM, yeah? Yeah. And it um, goes in from the thin side uh, towards the thick side, of course. So, and these screws are the most awkward screws to manipulate because they are so long and you'll find that they, there isn't a lot of magnetism on your screwdriver to hold them onto your screwdriver so yeah it takes a bit of dexterity come on in there a bit of dexterity they call it it's going i'm sure it's going okay yep yeah, it's going now we can see why i 
uh, like to do things in real time and that's because you guys need to know exactly what it takes to build this model you really do okay so there we go so that's the second inch yeah yeah Use the peg circles on each hinge mechanism as a guide to position the hinge on the inside of the access cover. Okay, so that's the access cover. Yeah. And we'll turn that over. And we're putting the flat yeah. flat sides on then. Fit the pegs into the larger holes uh -huh. on the inside of the cover and secure with two AM screws. Right. Taking care not to over tighten. Okay. Well, um, don't know whether you can see there or not but there is actually two holes there and there and the bottom one is the larger one and the top one is the smaller one and we do fasten them in with ams that's right yeah okay so we'll use a little bit of oil and we'll go down there and see if we can pop it in and of course make sure that that pin goes into the hole uh, nicely okay and don't over tighten it like they said using the ams again a bit more oil and the second hinge and pop it into the into the pin and then pop that into there yeah it's been a funny old day today uh, so we've been everywhere and everything's happened at like 100 mile an hour today we've actually had our third covid jab today haven't we darling mm. so yeah and um, we've been lucky to find uh out where there was doing the third covid jab and we'd we'd actually had our covid jab and uh, not so well six months ago and um i was uh three days over i think it was and uh, so we took my mum and Pete and we went and got our COVID jabs, uh, our third COVID jabs. Right. Stage seven, on the inside of the bonnet, fix the hinges. Okay. One H to the holes indicated using two AM screws. Check that the access panel opens and closes smoothly and loosen or tighten the, the long hinge screw fitted in step five if necessary okay right so what we've got to do is pop these uh, landing plates onto them so that the holes pop into them the pins pop into them holes on on the bonnet side there and then we use am screws is that right to, yeah to secure them okay so we'll have to open the hinge a bit to get to the am screws and i think everybody now can see there's two am screws there sorry it's a bit dark is this but um if i swing the light round you might be able to see it a bit better i don't want the camera to go fuzzy and you can then can't see and then obviously while we're doing this we can't see the chat either so we're just relying on um, that it's actually working out well so this is a bit of an experiment tonight ladies and gentlemen because um, we we've not done this sort of thing before apart from helping people out of course with their builds uh, which we've been doing now for well three years or thereabouts and um, yeah we've made some really good friends and uh, helped build some truly terrific models uh, over them three years and um, it's thanks to everybody that this has actually happened so yeah look at that that hinge works absolutely perfect yep so the access panel i think uh, another tip's coming along here and that is this access panel uh, a few people have uh, suggested to me that it doesn't actually fit or line up correctly don't worry about that at this stage it's absolutely fine so it does need to move so you can see under there see see the engine but of course when you lift the bonnet on the bus you will see the engine anyway but yeah um you look at any route master and these bonnets don't fit very well at all so don't worry about it it's absolutely fine okay so next stage please okay working from the inside of the bonnet take the bonnet brace 1a 
and check that it fits neatly into the bonnet 1D. Using 5am screws, fix the brace in place at the position shown. Okay, so I would imagine that the brace would go in there like that because it sits over the holes uh, that's marked in the magazine. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, did you say five holes? One, two, five. Four, four. It didn't say how many holes. One, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, and those are all AMs again, which are all them very tiny screws. A little bit of oil. And um, you can see where they go because we've got raised uh, little sockets that they go into. And, um, and all you're doing is putting this brace in so that it doesn't move. Gives it some support. And that uh, looks like the real thing at the end of the day. And uh, all these little things give it the detail that it's uh, well known for. So, um, oh dear me, I've got the shakes then for a minute. Uh, shaking all over we are so right um another little tip is um this this model i've uh, we we've had a lot of experience with it and a lot of people uh when it first came out on the market said goodness me that's an awful lot of money for a model and um we we've always said you know when this model comes out and you actually see this model in real life you actually get the more the benefit of this model because um, you see it in its entirety and you, you you're blown away by its size its color and and the fact that it's you know it's just so lifelike uh, in miniature and um, a lot of people used to say well you, you can get a, a, a 124 scale model uh, of a route master from a, a certain company and um, it's quite lifelike so we said yeah that's that's true but when you put this against a 124 scale route master that you can buy pretty much off the shelf um, there is absolutely no comparison whatsoever um, it's actu actually um, very 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 uh, striking indeed when you see it in real life so and one of the best things we can say about that is that we actually um a few of us met up at one time and we um had this uh route master of one of the builders builders uh out uh, on sure on a on, on a table outside of this cafe and uh, this guy walked by he did a double take um walked back and and was absolutely amazed by this model route master that was sitting on this bench uh, while we, whilst we was all talking and um he was actually a truck driver and uh, he said um he's never ever seen a model so lifelike uh, as this one so i think because we've run out of parts i think that's it is it not yeah okay so we built the front grille with the wlt 857 registration plate in and we've put the uh, washers on the back uh, in the correct place uh marking of course that the divot on there is cut out for this side so and then we've done the bonnet and we've made the hinges and uh, we've put them on and we've put the bracing in and tightened all them screws in on the bonnet and i'm going to have to get an, a cloth now and wipe my dirty finger marks off it because uh, i've just spoiled all that lovely lovely red paint work by putting my finger mark prints all over it but there we go it's not so on, but it shows you how the bonnet goes onto the grill yeah it yeah it does on the in the instructions doesn't it it shows you how the bonnet goes onto the grill and we'll just do a little little thing for the camera excuse my shaking so I'm ready for a cup of tea. So there we go. And there's the bonnet that goes onto the grill. And the iconic Route Master London Transport badge there on, on it as well. So just imagine that opening and looking inside at that beautiful engine. So there we are. So that's stage one uh, of uh, the 10 stages that you, that you get first. Um, we'll be doing stage two um, very shortly. 
but um, give us a couple of days and we'll c come back and we'll we'll do stage two and um, as always you can get back to the uh, Agora website uh, by agoramodels.com and you'll be able to see this um, um, built uh, um, in in um, in picture form on the build diary as well so uh, there you go so right I'm going to go cameras up now guys and uh, let's have a look at the chat but I'm also going to need I'm also going to need a, um, a, a, a nice slurp of my tea probably not without slurping it like so right hello so yeah let me find my cup and of course what what other cup would I have other than a root master cup of course I would so there we go so I've got a proper root master cup and um yeah and while i'm building it and i've got a rope master t-shirt on as well so there we are all right excuse me then guys so right let's have a quick look at the chat so the first one in the chat tonight was mary oglesby well that's my lovely mum so hello everyone and uh, uh have a good build tonight thank you then we've got max mods uh good evening everybody and we've got um d harris uh, good evening, Dave, sir. Good evening, D. Hi, D. Hi, D. Hi, D. So, so we've got uh, Dave Har uh, D. Harris. Uh, good evening, Max Mods. Come on, come on, chat. Let's go down. Got loads of chat to get through. Thank you very much for that. So we've got evening, Dave Harris from Max Mods. We've got D Dave Matt Builds. Good evening, everyone. And we've got um, Max Mods, and um, we've got Dave Mack, and we've got Dave Mack, and we've got Jay's Channel. And Jay's Channel said, Good evening, Dave, and good evening, everyone. And I hope everyone is okay, and good luck with your build, Dave. And uh, please give a good thumbs up for tonight. Thank you very much indeed. And um, have uh, uh, your fares and your tickets ready, please. Yeah, why not? Yeah, so fares and tickets ready, please. <laughs> um we've got dano's universe says hello everyone max mods says hello dano's universe uh, dave mcbill says hello dano's universe we've got yorkshire crafter hi hello everyone hello julie we've got uh, dave mcbills again saying how to yorkshire crafter we've got uh, max mods saying hello yorkshire crafter and uh, other from the other side of the wall yeah well <laughs> You could knock on the wall, not three times. Yeah, you could. So, and then we've got Alex Build. So, Alex, hi, Alex Build. Thanks for joining us. We've got Max Mods again saying hi, Alex. We've got um, Dave Matt Builds. We've got Alex Alex Build saying hi, Mac. We've got Alex Build saying hi, Dave Mac. We've got Ted D Harris saying uh, Dave Mac evening sir we've got D Harris saying evening in, everyone in the chat we've got David Bassett ding ding all aboard uh, the, for the third uh, route master build well actually um, David Bassett it'll be the fourth route master build because we have got three we've got three in our cabinet and this will be the fourth one so yeah and uh, keep watching David because there is more surprises on the way you know what I mean so right so um we've got d harris saying evening all we've got uh, david bassett saying good evening to christine uh, the driving force behind ds models yes absolutely christine is the driving force behind the uh, ds models and vintage uh, without a good woman behind me i would be nothing believe me so then we've got uh, white glove models hi all uh, hope you're all having a wonderful wednesday we certainly are having a wonderful Wednesday. And um, we've got uh, Jordi Dave. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, Jordi Dave. And we've got Jordi Dave saying hi, everyone. David Bassett saying good evening, Jordi Dave. Jordi Dave saying evening, D. We've got Jordi Dave saying evening, David Bassett. We've got uh, Dave Mack saying evening, Jordi Dave. Jordi Dave saying evening, Dave Mack builds. White glove model saying when I was a kid, I used to think that the root number changer was the license plate and they would change it uh, depending on where they were going. <laughs> Very good. So then we've got uh, Murray Oglesby saying big thumbs up uh, coming your way tonight. Thank you, my darling. So and um, Dave Matt Bill saying lovely build, Dave. Thank you, uh, Dave. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, Jordy Dave says, uh, great build, Dave. Uh, thumbs up to everyone. 
and I think that's the last of the chat. Thank you for that, Jordan Dave. So, right, um, another slurp of my take, because I think that was a mammoth, mammoth task in there. And I'm going to say a, a goodbye to you all, and uh, I'm going to leave you now uh, all in peace. So thank you for joining in uh, with the chat and everything. Thank you for viewing. Give me a nice good thumbs up if you don't mind, please. And uh, what's more importantly is um, subscribe. Uh, yeah, subscribe to the Agora Models Route Master. Uh, all the details are here on the ticker tape. And um, yeah, looking forward to stage two. And uh, looking forward to the future too with building along with some of you guys. So good night from me. Take care. And it's a good night from Christine. Yeah, good night. And uh, we'll see you all again soon. Bye, everyone.